Today at number six with cheese, the highest reviewed Italian restaurant in Chicago. Look at these prime beef meatballs. That's what we're getting today. I'm just casually scrolling through all the photos because I'm hungry. Oh, so, sorry, I gotta move for this guy. Here we go. <laughs> Um, I placed an order a little bit ago. I'm out front in a Chevy Cruze. For his, it was for Sean. Okay, I'll bring it right up to you. Thank you. Hey, how are ya? Doing well. Thank, Thank you. you much. Have a good one. Two orders of the prime steak. Is that right? Yep. Prime beef. Prime beef meatballs. Prime beef meatballs. Two orders of those from RPM Italian Acquired Jump Cut. We don't fit the socioeconomic class to do this review, but today we doing it. For all the people watching this video who are much richer than us, and you're like, oh, I heard that place is really fancy. It is. Um, they're offering takeout food during the pandemic. Oh yeah, we're trying to take advantage of the situations. No uh, suit and tie needed, my friend. All right, on this show, this is Corey. He does a second angle. Go for it. Wow, cool, uh, I like, so they got this nice little container that it comes in, and I think that's really cool that the amount of information they give you on this little thing. It tells you that if you're going to refrigerate it, the degrees that you should refrigerate it between, uh, da -da, within two hours of ordering that, and then what you should reheat it to. Wow. That's like a lot more information That's than incredible. you usually get. Wow. That's pretty cool. Let's see what she looks like. Come on, come on. All right. Whoa, those look good. So what we're seeing here, is that those delicious, delicious beef meatballs covered in an amazing marinara sauce, garnished with some garnish, and topped with what looks like some cheese. Yeah, it looks really good. All things look delicious, all things look amazing. All right, ooh, I'm excited. Who doesn't Bro. love a meatball? I love a meatball. All right, prime beef meatballs from RPM. Let's get it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh mm. my God. Mm. Very good. Oh, that sauce is very delightful. The meat is soft and delicious. You should just name this episode Rich mm. People Meatballs. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's what they are. This is so good. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god, that I want to eat a whole pasta with this sauce. Mm. Place. <laughs> so I had to yell. That black? It's owned by a rich person. Or a mm. famous person, I mean. Which those are kind of interchangeable. True, 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 true. Kylie told me. I think the reality stars like she said it, I go, who's that? Oh, she knew right away? Yeah, she goes, RPM, you know, that's, that's owned by, and I don't still don't know their names, but did you know that? I did like, not. I think a reality show star or something like I that? I had no or idea. Or no, she hosts an e-show. Oh, okay. Or something like that. Well, um, her meatballs are amazing. You should, compliments to the famous chef, or just the famous person that hired a chef. Yeah, they didn't, the person who owns the restaurant isn't always, nor is what I say is usually the chef. Gotcha. Was that something you thought? <laughs> I don't know, man. These meatballs are intoxicating. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can eat this all in one bite. Success. You've never done anything wrong. Proud of you. Mm. You know, for having a beard that majestic, you really don't get enough foods trapped in it. Mm -mm. You gotta start getting food trapped in there. You just dump this on my face. <laughs> Guys, seriously though, how incredible do these meatballs look? With that sun shining down, you got a, a just a glorified golden meatball, and then the way that the golden sun is reflecting off Corey's face. Bro, the marinara. I'm getting four fulls of marinara. I'm not even a big marinara guy. Like this is that. this is why it's hard to like marinara, because trash marinara is so bad. <laughs> this is great marinara. So good. I like doing fancy places. Me too. Dude, rich people live a dope life, bro. I don't think I was fully aware. Dude, four meatballs was $12. <laughs> you can buy two and a half hot and ready pizzas for that much. That'd feed me for almost a month. These are so good. They're not like, it's gonna sound weird. They're so big, but they're like still light. Yeah. It's not like just really dense and like, it feels like you're just biting into a brick. Mm, mm, it's mm, really, mm, really mm, light mm, and mm, airy. Mm. Wanna look at it again? Mm. Are you sick of me doing this yet? Someone's making meatballs tonight. Bro, did the sun like aggressively switch spots while we were sitting here? Yeah, but this, we still look pretty good. Yeah, gosh darn, those were good. And like, so I hear four meatballs, and then I see four meatballs, and in both of those circumstances, I think that's not gonna be enough. That's a half a pound of beef. But I ate, yeah, I ate all that, I'm like, actually, I'm pretty, I'm feeling like good. You know what I mean? Absolutely, I'm on the same 
wavelength as you. I don't know why I assume four meatballs isn't gonna be enough, but that sure sure as F is. As you can imagine, if you get that in the Gosh, restaurant, darn. you probably get that as a table and everybody gets one. Don't. Get them and eat four of them. Yeah, dude. Be selfish with them. When it comes to meatballs, I'm about to be selfish. Yeah. Even the to-go bag's nice. Something you might put some tissue paper in. Maybe, maybe give somebody a nice oh, bottle bro. of wine. I've given people presents in uglier bags <laughs> yeah, more yeah. than that. 100%. That's unbelievable. Wow. Wow. That was really good. Well, so well at the same time. Yeah, we're pretty close. Mm. RPM Italian. No wonder that place is so rated. This is another, and we had kind of have had this problem this week, I feel like a little bit, where everything's been so good, we haven't been saying anything funny. We've just been we're moaning not, a bunch. We're not funny. We're just ASMR moaning. One of those moan weeks. RPM, if you share this, maybe you'll kind of tap into the, the people that will come and pick up your food who are poor like us. You yeah, know? bro. We're intimidating of your entire street and all the businesses on it normally because you're so fancy. All right, before we go ahead and rate those meat balls from RPM, let's do a shout out. Vlog channel, vlog channel, vlog channel. Check out our vlog channel, it's dope. We got a lot of fun stuff on there. You want more Corey and Sean, I bet you we're gonna be doing more stuff once this corona ends and we can go out and do some stuff and we can cover some stuff in the city. Check it out. If anybody goes to the vlog from that endorsement, they are true fans. Yeah, dude. It's like when you say brew interview. <laughs> Vlog channels link below the video. Go check it out. Other videos there outside of the food world. Let's rate the meatballs out of five. What's what's something that's really fancy and rich that we can't normally get? Like what's like a caviar? How many caviars do you give the prime beef meatballs RPM Italian downtown Chicago, Corey? Boy oh boy, that makes me wanna be rich. Yeah, three that bucks. Was... Three bucks a meatball. Whoa, wow. <laughs> That's three McDoubles of meatball, dude? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable, you bro. Think of it that way, yeah. Oh, man. Dude, just even eating down here, everybody walks past looks like just fancier than me. They all look more attractive. They all have like, this lady's got a, a fur coat on behind me. Even their masks are nicer. Dude, that person's stroller is looks nicer than any vehicle I've owned in the last 10 years. That baby's got a better vehicle. Looks like it's made out of mahogany. That stroller had rims. Yeah, dude. Well, either way, we're out of our element here and it's an element that I think is delicious. <laughs> That meat, those meatballs were absolutely savory, tasty, and amazing. RPM, you are a fantastic establishment. I want to eat more of your goods. Yeah. I think that that was some of the finer meatballs I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I think that marinara sauce was unbelievable. I When there's a thing that I don't even really care about that really shows up, like I don't really care about marinara. Yeah. So it's something that usually is just like a thing that I don't even notice. The yeah. fact that I noticed it, like it, whoa! You know what I mean? Like. That, to me, speaks volumes that dog's taking a dookie. I think that that was really, really good. I'm gonna give that... I'm gonna give that a five. <laughs> five. I was like, what are you gonna take points off for? Honestly, like that's such a ritzy place. They could have been twenty dollars. I don't know. I don't know. I have yeah. no idea how you price meatballs. Those were expensive enough. I could see. I, if I was a woman, I'd hang them from my ears. I'd wear them as earrings. Hundred percent. Then if you get even a snack. It's like candy necklaces, but more delicious. Meatball earrings. Um, I'm all about the, the Kickstarter for meatball earrings. Somebody get Mark Cuban on the line, maybe get a Shark Tank. Uh, I don't, how do you take a point off? The marinara was so good, I'm going five. Dude, it's so good. Wow, that was delightful. Great choice today. Thanks, uh, Yelp. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. We're gonna head up north to Uptown, hit up that Sonic Burger. It's tangy, it's sweet. Got honey mustard. We'll check. We'll try that out. We'll try, we'll try, we'll try, that. try it out. Stay safe. Hope everybody's doing well. Kiss your mother and your brother only if they're in the same quarantine area as you. If not, just send them like a virtual kiss. Someone commented the other day that we're like superheroes. That he's called Batman. I think coming to this neck boy, neck beard and ginger boy. I love that neck beard and ginger boy. Guys, quarantine's making my hair redder. Dude, it's making my thicker in the face. Look at that. Look at the forehead I have. Look at that non receding I, I didn't hairline. shave before the quarantine. It just started growing thicker during these trying times. My body went to survive them where it started sprouting follicles. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. YouTube's a fun place, huh? Bye.